Suppose we wish to fit a fourth degree polynomial or a quartic function to a data set. The calculator can do this and here's how. To demonstrate the procedure we will use this following data set here. So we go under stat, we'll hit edit, and we'll begin entering in the data values. Now the first number in each one of these ordered pairs represents the x-coordinate of the point and they will be placed into L1. The second number in each of these ordered pairs represents the y-coordinate of the data value and they will be put into L2. And we will do this as quickly as we possibly can. Okay. So now that we have our data set entered in, we may continue with the construction of the fourth degree polynomial. So we'll hit stat, we'll go under calc, and we'll select court reg. This is cortic regression. And we'll f that is what fits a fourth degree polynomial to our data set. And this is the highest degree polynomial that the calculator can use. So we'll go ahead and select that command. We'll tell it to use L1 as the x coordinates and then a comma and then L2 as the y coordinates and then another comma. And we're going to hit uh, VARES, the VARES button. We're going to select Y VARES and we're going to select FUNCTION and we'll select Y1 to store the resulting uh, function into that plot structure. Now here we see that we have the information. We have y equal ax to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e. The coefficient of x to the fourth is a. This is about 2.5 times 10 to the negative 8. So watch out for the scientific notation here. The calculator will attempt to display as much of the information as it can and keep all of the digits uh, to their highest accuracy as the memory will allow. So watch out for the scientific notation. It may, it may appear in some of your calculations. Uh, the coefficient of x cubed is b, negative 5.16 about, times 10 to the negative 5. And then c is given here, d is given here, and e, the constant, is given here. This arrow indicates that there's more information to C, so we'll go ahead and press down, and we see the R squared value. The R squared value is the coefficient of determination, and this is a numerical measure of how well our choice of function fits the data. The closer this value is to 1, the better the choice of the model. Now let's plot the scatter plot for the data set and this cortic curve and get a visual comparison. So we'll go ahead and hit second and y equals. And then we'll turn the first plot on. We'll select scatter plot, the first option here. L1 for the x list and L2 for the y list. And we'll use the box as our marks for the data values so they are easily seen on the window. And then after that we'll hit zoom and then we will select zoom stat to size up our window. And here we can see the data values represented as boxes and the curve graphed here with these pixels. And this is how you can perform a cortic regression or fitting a fourth degree polynomial to a data set on the TI-8384 calculators.